Hello everyone, Jeremiah Isaiah here with a special video regarding to a certain video game character. His name is Crash Bandicoot, one of the biggest PlayStation icons ever created. He debuted in 1996, 9th of September, and here it is, 2013, 9th of September. Crash Bandicoot is officially 17 years old. But, ever since 2008, there has really been nothing new happening regarding for Crash Bandicoot being on the PlayStation 3 lately. You see, with all of these first person shooters in the gaming industry nowadays, I don't think Crash is going to return yet, because there's always next year and 2015. His chances of having a new game being developed by a company and being published by Activision is almost near 80%. Of course, I don't have statistics to prove it, but I mean, come on, this is Crash Bandicoot we're talking about here. The same way Naughty Dog made a lot of great games, including a recently critically acclaimed one called The Last of Us, Activision is kinda in the same position as Naughty Dog since Call of Duty and Skylanders are making a lot of profit for them. And I'm 100% sure that the CEO of Activision, Eric Hirschberg or Bobby Kodak or both, are completely aware of the fact that we fans of the Crash franchise want a new game. We just need to be a bit more patient because you never know, there could be a game for Crash being developed right now. Video games take time to be developed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's been five years, going on six, since the last console game, but that doesn't mean that we will not get a new game. Sly Cooper was gone for eight years, and he eventually got a new game. No way Crash is never not going to have a new game. He will have a new game. People just say that to bring your hopes down, and all they do is play with their dicks for a living, having nothing else to do better in life. Now, as a fan of the franchise, like I said previously, I grew up with the Game Boy Advance classics, not the PlayStation 1 classics. But I could already tell that this franchise had a big ass history as far as the transitions from company to company. It's annoying, but that's what makes the franchise unique. You see what I'm saying? Since Radical Entertainment is back, there's still a little bit of hope for the Crash franchise because... They already shipped, well, excuse me, one, they already shipped Prototype 2, so there won't be a Prototype 3. Two, Skylanders is currently being developed by Vicarious Visions, not Toys for Bob. And three, who was the last developer for the Crash franchise? Oh yeah, that's right, Radical Entertainment, of course. And plus, they actually never got shut down. And let me just add on something. If the ones who made Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows can make that game, which only 18 representatives did then I am confident to say that Radical Entertainment can make the next Crash Bandicoot game. But getting that out of the way, I would like to give you guys a reason or reasons to why I like Crash Bandicoot. The reasons for that is mainly be just because, well, to me, he's just one of those platformers out of the others that, that will cherish in your heart for a long time. A character that's unique and games that will always have great memories with. Excuse me, that you will always have great memories with. Tag Team Racing is actually my third favorite Crash game in the franchise, to be honest with you. It's the most memorable out of all of them, to me. In my opinion. Either way, I still love the franchise, and I will always love the Game Boy Advance games and Crash Bandicoot 2, Kotex Strikes Back. But with all of that said... I just really want to say happy birthday Crash Bandicoot, no, happy 17th birthday Crash Bandicoot, even though, excuse me, even though you aren't real, you are a big part of my video game memories, and you will always be a big part, I know you will return, we all know you will return, and for me, to Activision CEOs, Eric Hirschberg, and Bobby Coded, please let a video game company develop a new Crash Bandicoot game without it being cancelled, this franchise has a lot of potential, and we won't ignore the fact that we want a new game. So please just keep that in mind. And also, if the Crash game isn't cancelled, then please don't scrap it into something like how you did with the remake of CTR. Scrapping it and changing it into the DreamWorks Racing game. Because if you want to see some animations of the actual Crash Team Racing remake or Crash Team Racing 2010 or whatever you want to call it. Link to that will be in the description below so be sure to check that out. And... That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll tell you guys next time. Bye.